Hi everyone, it is January 16, 2015, and I am going to read a short piece written by Gregory Manorino. And many of you probably know who Gregory Manorino is. He just posted a 2 minute and 29 second video, which I will link to below, a dire warning from Gregory Manorino. And he has asked in that video if we will come over here and read his short article, which is very important. So that's why I'm reading it. It is very important. You know, for years, many of us have been screaming on YouTube that what we are facing today, well, we have been warning, trying to warn people that World War III is coming. Economic collapse is coming. And there are so many clueless Americans and those Americans who are remaining, some with a hostility to remain willfully ignorant as the world collapses around them. They just go on about their business as if everything is just fine. It is stunning to me. But there are many on YouTube now screaming their heads off. And still people aren't listening. So I really do hope that you circulate this. Circulate it especially to those who are still refusing to pay attention to what is happening. We are on the precipice of global war and financial ruin. The stage has been set and we now stand on the brink of a major world event. And I am not a market analyst. I'm not a financial expert. But you don't have to be. You just have to pay attention to the events that are taking place to know that something is seriously wrong, dangerously wrong. And I'll go so far as to say it's an evil wrong that is taking place in the world. So let me read this short article by Gregory Manorino. Russia has now retaliated against both the U.S. sanctions and deliberate manipulation of the price of crude oil by the United States and Saudi Arabia in attempts to hurt the Russian economy. Russia, in response, has now cut energy to six European countries, and now it's just a matter of time before a shooting war develops between the United States and Russia. What is really being set up is a blame game. The global economy is in freefall, and this includes the economy of America, which is not immune to this slowdown despite what our policymakers and the mainstream financial channels want you to believe. Late last night, the Swiss central bank depegged its currency from the euro because it knows that next week, as has been speculated, the ECB will begin full-on Federal Reserve-style, Japan-style QE, quantitative easing. The Swiss bank also cut its benchmark interest rate to negative. The world's central banks have now become so desperate that they are not only continuing to slash interest rates, but are going negative. The politics of all of this is frightening. As we all now stand on the edge of global financial meltdown, our policymakers are going to push us into a world war. They are going to blame this war for the financial cataclysm, which will soon be engulfing the entire world. Then the real blame game will begin, when this push to war was the plan all along. I have been screaming from the rooftops for years, telling of all these events which are now occurring, and they are now unfolding quickly in a cascade of unstoppable events. It is my hope that you start to pay attention. Now, he didn't put that emphasis on hope. That was mine. But the issue is debt. The global debt issue is the largest financial bubble in the history of the world, but it will become a resource issue for you directly. As the debt bubble continues to crack and eventually burst, every fiat-based currency will become worthless. Therefore, the global economy, as we know it, will cease to function. There will be bank runs, price controls, chaos in the streets in every corner of the globe, a suspension of the Constitution, and martial law right here in the United States. 
the breakdown of the global debt-based economic model will be the single most apocalyptic moment in human history. And are you ready? Are you ready? So many Americans are not ready. So many are clueless. So please circulate this, especially to the clueless. We are facing this. Whether it's going to be next week, whether it's going to be two weeks, whether it's going to be a couple of months, I don't know, but we are facing this. And I agree with Gregory that it is unstoppable at this point. So while I want to say get your money out of the banks, money is going to become worthless. And I hope all of you are prepared and I, because I want the best for you. I really do. I, I, I want you all to survive. Um, we're heading towards a very, very crazy time. But I do want to say this, and I know that many of you will laugh and think I'm crazy. But based on my research, I can't um, say that the United States and Russia will be fighting against one another. I'm still suspect of what Russia and Putin are doing. And I'm not convinced that they're not in cahoots with the U.S. government, those domestic enemies in the United States government that have been transforming the United States into a communist nightmare. And will this be the official communist takeover? Russia. Russian military on United States soil. It is a very real possibility. I just hope I'm wrong. But whatever we're looking at, it's not going to be fun. So, I do hope you circulate this. I do hope you try to wake up those in your lives that are still claiming that everything is just wonderful. The economy is recovering. Really? Mm -hmm. On that note, have a great night, guys.